Shalom, people of God. How are you doing? I believe the grace of God is keeping you. Thank you very much for stopping by. This is Tima K. Heba. If today is your first time, please subscribe to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, we thank you very much for staying with us. Thank you. Don't forget to share the videos and like. Your comment is also very much important. God bless you. Today we are talking about abundance and prosperity. You need to have a prosperous life. The purpose of God must stand in your life. You have been going through a lot and everything is down in your life. You have been praying, you have been waiting, but nothing is helping. I assure you that this direction is going to help you. Today we are going to use honey to bring abundance into your, our life. Honey is a spiritual symbol for prosperity, for abundance, for fertility, and for community. When we talk of community, we are talking about pulling crowds to yourself. You have a business, you need helpers, you need people in your life that can impact you positively. Honey, and by the grace of God, you are going to have a good result. Many people ask, how long are we going to see effect? Please, when you are doing spiritual thing, one thing you need to remember is that it is not magic. It is the help of God through the universe. You must have a positive mind and do your part and God will favor you. Okay? So, we are going to use honey to bring abundance to sweeten our life to bring us positive vibe in this year. We are going to need an original honey, an adulterated one. Wherever you are in this world, we can ship honey to you. It is available here in Ghana and outside Ghana we ship. And you are also going to need crystal salt, the sea salt. You will also need milk, yes. So how are you going to use it? If you are somebody who has been suffering from disappointment, breakdown, financial crisis, and bad luck, what you are going to do is get your salt, grind it into a fine powder. If you have a sea salt powder, it is okay. So early morning when you wake up, you get some salt, Put it into your hand, the powdered one, you put it into your hand. Then you add some honey to it. You pray to God for favor. You say your intention. You pray to God for abundance. You pray to God for the grace. And you lick it. You can also add some honey and salt to your bathing water. And you pray to God for that same purpose. If you have a company, an office, a workplace, and things are not working for you, you can use the honey and the salt. Add it to your mopping water. You can use this direction in your home. And by the grace of God, you are going to have abundance. There are some homes every day, it is financial crisis. It is hunger. Every day it is war. It is bad news here and there. Use honey and salt to mop the house. And then use some honey and salt mixed with water. Sprinkle it in the environment and proclaim good things in the name of God into the environment. And God is going to answer you. If you have a business that you want customers... You get your glass, your honey, your salt, and then your milk. You are going to mix the salt, honey, and the milk together in a glass. Please, don't use plastic cup. You can use either glass or a ceramic bowl. Okay? So when you put the three ingredients into the glass, you stir it until it all dissolves into one mixture 
So you are going to have a honey, milk, and salt mixture. If you have a land that you want to do some project on it, and you are finding it difficult to develop the land, do this direction continuously. You can do this once a month, once a week, according to your schedule, and favor is going to locate you. So after putting all the ingredients into the water, you can pour it at the place and speak. You tell God that as one was made by bees, plenty bees. And the moment it gets onto the ground, a lot of insects, especially ants, rush to it. May good things rush into your life. May money come into your life in abundance. And bees are spiritual animals that have survivor skills. They fight, they protect, and they are in a group. They are abundant and they work very hard. And the result of their work is the sweet honey that you get. So may God make everything you do result in sweetness. You have abundance even if somebody is behind your retrogression, somebody is behind your downfall, your delay. May that power in the bees fight them. Okay? You stand upon the grace of the bees to fight their enemies, to fight whatever is bothering you. You can repeat this a number of times and believe God for a turn around. And by the grace of God, you are going to have victory. May God watch over you. May he protect you and bring you abundance in your life. God bless you.